Hi all, I wanted to share a story with you um, of this <laughs> comedy of errors that has gone on for me today that has been building over the past week, I guess. So to wind the story back a bit, and I'll try not to go into too much backstory here, if you get a little bit lost, that's okay because you'll probably be on the same page that I was until last night. Uh, <laughs> stick with me, it'll all make sense in the end and I have a question for you about how you are in these situations. So this morning I found myself in a pickle where I had come home from Melbourne last week. I had borrowed my mother-in-law's car, driven it across town to our place, got home really, really late in the, in the night, spent the rest of the week driving our own car and a few logistics had to be thrown around for our return to the in-laws place this week and um, days got changed, appointments got booked in and, and daycare got cancelled and so many different things happened. And we arrived last night to uh, my partner's mum coming out of the house and being like, oh, I thought you were bringing back both cars. And I was like, oh my God, I've left her car. <laughs> I completely forgot I even had her car. Um, now to explain why it's not just sitting in my driveway, but where we live, we park our car and we cross to our neighborhood by boat. There's no car access where we live. So that's how I forgot it. It's in a big commuter car park and I was using our car for the rest of the week. So before you're like, how did you forget a car that was sitting out the front of your house? That's, that's how I forgot the car. <laughs> I just let it go as soon as I walked away from it at like midnight on Saturday night or 12.30 in Sunday morning or something when I finally got home. So I realized I'd left the car. I also realized when we arrived here that I'm usually very good at it, but I left my laptop charger at home as well. So that meant that spending today and tomorrow here, I wouldn't be able to use any of the video editing software or those kinds of things on my own computer to do the work that I'd wanted to do. So it meant this morning that I decided to get up early. I caught public transport. It was a couple of hours worth of public transport to get back home. But I'd then jump in the boat, I'd go home, I'd grab the couple of, like the car keys, I'd grab my laptop charger, and I would come back in the car that I was supposed to return here. <laughs> so I got up this morning, alarm went off, that was all fine. I hadn't slept very well despite taking measures to try and sleep well, and I was like a little bit tired did a little thing for work that I needed to do this morning before I left at like 5 a.m. or something. <laughs> Quickly got on the computer that's here and did that. So that was all done. Got to the station, uh, the train station very close to the time. So I'd driven a car there, um, gathered all my things. I hadn't brought a handbag or a bag of any kind. Um, got, hustled my way to the station, got to the station and realized a couple of things. One, I didn't have the boat keys and the train was coming, so I needed to get on the train and I was like, I guess I'm gonna have to call a neighbor or catch a, a water taxi or a ferry or something to get myself across the water once I finally take these two hours of trains and buses across town. Two, I realized that for whatever reason, my phone must have updated or something last night and it was all I had to pay with to get on the train. And this was like three minutes before the train was due so the card that's normally stored in the payment system on my phone for whatever reason had disappeared. I've had it on there for months and she used it and it's been fine. But today it wasn't on there. So I'm madly like entering my card details, trying to pay for the train before the train arrives at the station. I get the train, I walk through the city as maps tells me to do, go to the bus stop and I see that people are running for the bus. So I run for the bus as well, and the bus leaves. But when it leaves, and I'm, I'm there, I'm at the doors, and I'm like, please, 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 please. And the driver's already looking to pull out onto the road. But as she pulled out onto the road, she stopped straight away, because there was a red light, like, right there. Like, just meters away from me. Now, at this point, I could have gone up to the doors of the bus as soon as the light went red, as soon as she stopped and gone, hey, please, can I jump on the bus? Like I've got, you know, I, I need to get going. And I didn't, and I just stood there, meters from the bus, just staring at it as it sat there, knowing that I could have asked 
I could have just asked if she said no and she didn't let me on, fine. I saw that there was like some road blockage, like uh, construction type things around the road and that's what made me hesitate. And then once I'd hesitated, I was like, oh, it's going to turn green in a sec. It's going to turn green in a sec. I'll just let it go. It was honestly only seven minutes to the next bus. But what it made me realize was, why didn't I just try? Like, I I'm definitely the type of person who would normally be like, hey, can you hook me up? Like, and I didn't. I just stood there and stared at this bus sitting there that I could have tried to get on, that I could have asked to be let on. And it made me wonder how much we do this in our lives. How much do we see an opportunity and sit and debate in our minds and back and forth about whether we should or we shouldn't. And then the bus leaves the station, so to speak. <laughs> the opportunity passes us by. Now that bus actually wasn't even the bus that I was wanting to take that would have let me get ahead. And again, how many opportunities come along that could get us ahead? that could lead to a different life for us, lead to different results for us, that we're too scared to ask. We just sit around and we don't ask. And when we're in that position, typically what's happening is that we don't believe that we can. So a lot of people won't go for a certain job because they don't believe they're qualified enough, they don't believe they're smart enough, they don't believe they'll do well at it. They don't see themselves as someone who could even make that amount of money or have that job title. So they just don't go for it. They don't start their own business because they just don't think that they can do it. And we do this in life where we pull ourselves back when it's right there, but we hesitate until it's sometimes too late or it's gone. Or we just, we have that opportunity come by again, like I did today. The bus was seven minutes later, another bus rocked up. So I'm wondering today, if you can ask yourself, where are you doing that in your life? Where are you holding back? Where are you believing because of experience, right? I was in it. I was perhaps in a moment where I was like, geez, all this stuff's gone wrong today. I didn't even mention to you guys that I realized at, oh yes, I did about the keys. <laughs> like, I don't know where the keys are. I think I've left them in the car. I, I could barely pay for the train. You know, I was running myself late. That's why I was running for the train. All of these things that had gone wrong and then gone wrong with like leaving the car behind in the first place, leaving the laptop charger behind in the first place. And perhaps if I got up in the morning a little bit earlier and done some laughter, done some breath work, done some exercise, something to set me up for the day, I would have had a totally different response when this opportunity was there. Maybe I was already mentally defeated. Are you mentally defeated in your life? Are you feeling like, oh, nothing ever goes right for me and why would they choose me or why would I be able to get that? Really, this, this whole experience had me question that and had me go, where else are you doing this in your life, Bianca? Where else like, are you backing down? Are you not jumping, not taking the leap, not backing yourself, not even trying, not even asking? And it's a very, very interesting thing to go through. So I'll invite you to do that. Like even get a pen and paper out, write it down, write down the things that you find that you're like, mm, if I'm honest with myself, I'm really holding myself back there. And this is such a powerful self coaching question where you're like, where am I playing small in my life or where am I holding back? And what can I do about that? Where would I like to back myself? Where can I take more leaps of faith? Where can I push myself a little more out of the comfort zone? Where can I ask for help? And if you're asking yourself these questions and you're journaling, you're going to answer the question in full. When you think about it in your mind, you might half answer it and then your mind goes off on a tangent. When you write it, you have to formulate it. You have to think about it. You have to see the answer to that question through. So enjoy this process. I would absolutely love to hear what you come across um feel free to comment below and i'm sending you so much love so much laughter <laughs> and i'll see you again very soon